Hello. It's the 22nd of August today. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the winter. Um, the days are starting to get long. Well, actually, just longer, really, I guess. Um, and the garden's starting to um, grow that little bit faster. Um, this bed, the Swiss chard, but we're still hacking it back uh, quite hard, but it's, um, it's coming back a lot faster, which is nice. Um, and I'm already planning for uh, where the tomatoes that will be planted in a couple of weeks will go. We're going to have one here, um, one in here, and one there. Um, I'm going to leave the Swiss chard as much as I can in around them. Um, and yeah, look, see how they uh, see how they progress. Um, we've got some peas um, growing up along the back here. I'm going to leave them, but I'm thinking. Um, I'll plant some cucumbers out and then maybe in a couple of weeks uh, once they've sprouted put them in the ground and see how they go see if we can get some early crops I know last year I sucked at cucumbers but uh, it's always a matter of trying um, now chamomile that uh, self-seeded is going nuts but we'll leave that in because why not um, this bed got Swiss chard and stuff at the front still um, pansy Got a nice big bunch of coriander here. Um, we'll have to find a use for it. Um, over here, we've uh, I've planted some some salanova lettuces, which have just uh, started to pop up. Um, I think I put in twenty, so it'll be interesting to see how they they go. Um, some were red, and as we can see here, and the others green. Beside them, I was going to plant a tomato that I managed to overwinter. Um, I know we've still got a few days, but it looks like it will have survived. So we'll chuck it in and see how um, how quickly it produces, or if it does. The garlic, I think with the longer days starting, um, it's starting to get a little bit fatter. Um, so that's promising. What are we? August. September, October. So we've probably got two, two and a half months uh, before it's ready. But um, this year I'm going to let it do its thing. Last year I think I probably pulled it out probably a couple of weeks earlier than I should have. But I wanted the uh, space. Excuse the cockatoos. Um, I wanted the space. Whereas this year where I planted it, um, it's going to have a late tomato with anything in here. Um, so that's, that's positive. The red vein sorrel has finally kicked on, um, so I'm going to have to probably move some of that because I want to put some onions um, along here. Um, the overwintered capsicums, well this one I think is, is dead, but I'll leave it in in case it does start shooting from the bottom. Um, this one here might have survived, and this one here um, looks like it might have survived as well. I think there's a new, new little tip. I'm not sure if we can focus in on that. There we go. Um, so that's that's pretty exciting. Um, broccolini. Um, yeah. Oh, look, I probably planted it too late. Um, I don't know. It's the first time we've uh, we've grown it. Um, this one. I'll pull out probably in a month when I want to put in a zucchini but the other ones in theory should be able to just keep growing and see what happens um, no loss really um, these were from a punnet too so I'm not even going to be disappointed the garlic I think is uh, it's going to get shaded out but that's fine that was just an experiment to see um, so yeah we'll see lemon tree still doing extremely well Got some new growth, and we're probably going to leave these lemons on just until we need them. Our fridge is still quite full um, with the last harvest. This bed, um, spinach, um, this is going to transfer itself into corn and cucumbers. So, yeah, the, it's probably got another month um, before it all gets pulled out. I'm thinking I'll, I'll start the corn. Um, in the little greenhouse um, 
Well, because last year I think I grew it. No, not last year, the year before I grew it. Um, seed and all the birds kept picking it out, which was really quite annoying. Um, the rocket's starting to do really well too. And in the back we've got some some weeds, of course, but um, some sweet peas as well. Um, so that should look quite nice as they grow up. Um, the olive tree, it's just doing its thing. Over to the little mini greenhouses. So. This has um, been doing extremely well. There we go. So, some tomatoes. Um, so these will be going out in the next, probably the beginning of spring. There's three of them. Uh, I think I'll pop these on probably tomorrow. Um, and yeah, look, some of the other ones we're going to plant in a little undercover area we've got. So that should be good. And then we've got some spinach growing from seed here. Um, that's a variety that's got more work, uh, warmer climate. So that should be going well through summer and it won't, uh, won't go to seed. In our little mini hoop house, um, everything's still looking really nice if we can get in here. So this has worked really well. This looks like it needs to have a hack back today. Um, we might have to make a nice little salad. Um, got some nice little salad over lettuces as well growing on this side. Planted a, a squash. We've got some salad over lettuce as well um, around the sides. But yeah, little squash. So keep it covered on for another month or so, and then pull it off, and hopefully it's, uh, it's good to go. Um, not much else really. Our sage is about to flower. I should have chopped it back earlier, but um, I don't have the heart to now because the flowers are really pretty. Um, the tomato that yeah managed to survive winter so far, so far. Um, yeah, so I'm going to drop that into that uh, that space beside the coriander in the middle bed. Get it trimmed back and see what happens. If it dies, it dies. Um, a little cutting I took of a tomato a few months ago. Seems to be growing, so that's positive. Um, what else? Pulled out some onions, don't know what they are, they were going to seed, so yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do with them, probably biff them. Um, these, these are the onions which are going to go on the side in a couple of days. And yeah, it's all, it's all starting to happen in a way. So, yeah. Next time, uh, next time you see the garden, there'll probably be some uh, tomatoes planted.